Γεια σας and hello, I'm Dartleon and this is the Super Tiny Luigi Challenge. In the last episode we defeated the boss of World 7 and we reached World 8. World 8 is kind of the volcano land but it also has some Halloween kind of, you know, stuff so... Let's go with volcano but you will see the bosses are kind of Halloween -y. But there's also a lot of lava, so uh, whichever you prefer. Uh, again, those names are not official, just calling them like that. Uh, so for this stage, I suggest a combination of being careful and with rushing it. You will see what I'm talking about. Um, the biggest threat are these things, the crows, uh, because, well, they're quite annoying and they're flying and we can fly and that's about it. If I had to suggest anything, I would suggest do not be stuck, like you should have a plan B at all times, like jump there or do that. Uh, with a other than that, well, no, these stages are all kinda, I'm not going to say that these stages are easy at any time. Um, it's, no, scrap that. Uh, they are kinda hard. The bosses are kinda hard. We can hear a bow here. Okay. Okay. Let's walk away towards the end. That's the midway point. Uh, in this world, midway points are kinda strange. They will either... No, most of the time they will be useless. Oh, um, I believe I, I didn't lose here, so I'm sorry for that. Uh, well, the thing will still be there, but, you know. Um, as I was saying, the midway points will either be useless or too much in the end. Uh, well, sometimes we will not even have um, this. As you can, uh, you will not have, like, um, midway points. So, these big bullet bills are called bonsai bills, I believe. They're still very killable, but I need to find a plan of moving forward. Oh my god! Oh my god! So much skill right there! Okay. Okay, let's stand here. I believe this thing will not shoot a, bo shoot a bonsai bill if it cannot see me. So, let's make a jump. Oh, so close to get so far. Anyway, this was Stadge. Stadge? Stage one of the last world. Um, that's that's it actually. Um, we are actually closing to one of the strangest. Oh, damn it! One of the strangest um, Bowser Junior fights. Okay, so about this. Timing is key, and I miss my chance. In this stage, timing is key, and I believe I missed this thing too. Um, okay, got it. Um, having a good timing is will actually save you through this stage. Either, well, your timing will either save you or kill you. Uh, being tiny gives us the perk of being able to move around in a more unique way. Oh, bottom screen. Okay, I will cope with that. So, I have, I'm not sure if you have seen tiny enemies by now. Tiny enemies are, you know, very much like us. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, you can actually kill them by stomping them without, you know, ground pound thing. Okay, we're back. 
Let's see how can I manage this. Uh, the good thing with the Goombas is that they fall, they're not as smart as us, but you know, they're still dangerous and they still manage to kill me. I'm actually surprised I was killed by Goomba. Anyway, uh, here is the midway point, and this is where this stage gets hard, actually. Yeah, this was quite simple so far. Okay, for this one, stay on the left, on the right, left, right, left, right. Um, okay, and this one, again, timing is key. You actually need to wait for the best moment to get the space switch or question mark switch. And this is the right moment? Alright, yeah! <laughs> Success. And get on this pipe and you're done. Let's try to not die over here. I believe there are no enemies and done. Come on! You should have, you're supposed to give me these things! Anyway. Let's continue on on the fortress. The midway fortress of this world. Okay, because I'm actually quite low on lives during and uh, between um, this and the next episode I'm going to grab all of the uh, green thingies the green houses so that I can get all the one-ups uh, but that's about it here again timing is key but you know it's not as hard as the previous stage just make safe jumps actually and you're done with this stage it's not that hard we have the perk of being tiny but well even if you were big this stage it's actually not that hard uh, he said as he fell down he said that he fell more down he said as he fell in the beginning of this fighting stage I guess I should have wall jump never mind never mind at least I didn't lose a life I actually got one which is always good, especially considering this is the final world. And this place is actually full of horrible, horrible places. And I really have nothing to talk about. Sorry for the bad commentary, I'm trying to concentrate. Um, I guess I could have made the jump. So, this, again, this is one of the strangest fights with Bowser Jr. You will see why in a second. Uh, here, you, even if you were big, you can actually come here, crouch, and this thing will actually push you all the way through. I could have walked all the way through, but I was lazy. And that's about it. Uh, here, get your timing right and, well, simple jump. That's actually the way to progress. The other way is to get the star coin. I cannot give a damn about star coins, I have like 20, 45. Um, here, just jump, easy peasy. And we are actually, here is the door. Let's, come on, three, two, and got it. So, to begin off, just avoid Bowser, really. Uh, he will throw a Koopa Shell, but he will regret it. The first shot is quite simple. Uh, the second shot is the one that you actually need to get. And I miss it, because he throws the shells quite faster and, you know, what happened before will not happen again. Is the second hit. Now he will start to jump. This is where it actually gets tricky. Jump over him like so. And just avoid his shell. He will eventually throw a bad shell and he will hit himself like so. So get the third hit. It's a supposedly easy fight. I mean, considering all the previous fights. It's a fairly easy one. Um, 
you only need to actually get one of the, these ones. I actually remember this fight because, you know, it's quite simple. Yes, I'd like to save. And that's about it for the episode. this episode, fairly simple one. Um, about this house, just because, before I leave. It's just a red mushroom house. It may look like it's pink and pinker, but it's just a red mouse house. Mouse? A red mushroom house. You will just get a power up. So, see you guys next time. Oh my god. Oh my god.